Hi, I'm Katherine Applegate, and I am the author of lots of books for young readers, including this one, Doggo and Pupper. I don't know about you, but I love, 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 love dogs. I have one dog right now, his name is Stan, and I have two cats, Lightning and Scooter, and sometimes they get along, sometimes they don't get along. You know, that's how it is in families. Sometimes brothers and sisters don't get along all the time. I wanted to write about that, to talk about an older dog named Doggo and a brand new puppy named Pupper and talk about what might happen when they first get together. This series, and there are three books in this series, is illustrated by the amazing Charlie Alder. And she does really, really, really funny and sweet pictures. So if you get a chance to look at the book and kind of spend time with the pictures, I think you're gonna have a lot of fun. So we begin, as you always do, with chapter one. Same old, same old. Every night, Cat asks, how was your day, Doggo? Every night, Doggo said, same old, same old. Then he would wink at the smiling moon and say, could have been worse. Every day was just like every other day. Doggo had many jobs. Cook waker, nap taker, bug stalker, girl walker, crumb eater, male greeter, trash diver, co-driver, book holder, squirrel scolder, bear finder, kid minder, treat smuggler, dream snuggler. It was important to stay hydrated and well rested. Even when the humans left, Doggo kept busy. It was hard work, but someone had to do it. Chapter two, the idea. Sometimes Doggo missed the good old days, but he was happy enough and happy enough was fine with him. The humans worried. They said, Doggo seemed bored. They said his days were humdrum. They said his life needed more zip and zing. You should shake things up said Cat. I like my life just so, said Doggo. You used to be fun, said Cat. I used to be young, said Doggo. Watch out, Doggo, said Cat one day. I think the humans have an idea. She licked a paw. Remember the last time they had an idea? Doggo remembered. It was not pretty. When the humans came home, Doggo hid. It did not matter. The idea found him anyway. Chapter three. Popper. Life with Pupper was not boring. It was not humdrum. It was not the same old, same old. Doggo tried to teach Pupper his jobs, but Pupper was goofy. Pupper was messy. Pupper was having a ball. Doggo tried to be a good sport, but Pupper was silly. Pupper was lazy. Pupper was having 
the time of his life. Night was the worst. Popper did not want to go to sleep. He was full of zip and zing. He wanted to hear stories. He wanted to ask questions. Did someone chew the moon? Can comets chase their tails? Should I sing to the stars? The problem with Pupper is that he is a pest, said Dog. The problem with Pupper is that he is a pupper, said Cat. No, I was never like that, said Doggo. Is that so, said Cat. When the humans left, Pupper got a bit carried away. It was not pretty. The humans were not happy. The problem with Popper is that he has no manners, they said. We should send him to charm school. I want to stay here with you, Popper told Doggo. I do not want to be charming. Well, I went to charm school, said Doggo, and look at me. Pupper hid. It did not matter. Chapter four, the new improved Pupper. Pupper learned to sit. He learned to stay. He learned to come. After a while, he stopped being goofy. He stopped being messy. He stopped having a ball. The humans were pleased. Pupper has manners, they said. Doggo was pleased. Pupper is not a pest, he said. Even when the humans left, Pupper kept busy with his homework. He did not bother Doggo at all. Sometimes Doggo forgot Pupper was even there. Are you happy, Pupper? Doggo asked. Happy enough, Pupper said. How was your day, Pupper? Cat asked. Same old, same old, Pupper said. Then he looked at the smiling moon and sighed. Chapter five, a new idea. That night, the moon was full. Doggo could not sleep. He wanted to tell stories. He wanted to answer questions. Where are you going, Doggo? Cat asked. I have an idea, he said. She licked a paw. Remember the last time you had an idea? Doggo remembered. It was not pretty. It took a while, but Doggo found what he needed. When he woke the sleeping humans, they groaned. Sure, they said, take the car. Good luck getting very far. Pupper, Doggo whispered. Oh, is it time to go to work? Pupper asked. No, said Doggo. It's time to play. It is time to go sing to the stars. Chapter six, road trip. It was a lovely, night for a drive.
Doggo and Pupper had the time of their lives. Chapter seven. Home. The humans were still asleep when Doggo and Papa returned. Doggo tucked Pupper into bed. How was your night, Doggo? Cat asked. Could have been worse, said Doggo. Cat licked a paw. You don't say, she said. The moon smiled. And so did Doggo and Pupper. And at the end, we have Doggo's Guide to Puppies. Puppies are silly. Puppies are curious. Puppies like to chew. Puppies like to make puddles and other things. Puppies need lots of naps. Puppies need a special place to call their own. Puppies need special food. Puppies need rules. Puppies need lots of play. And puppies need lots of love. I hope you enjoyed Doggo and Pupper. <laughs>